Hey everybody, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I am a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today I have some awesome updates to share with all of you. We're going to navigate through the Analyst Agent, one of our brand new agents as a part of the Frontier program, just like the Researcher Agent. The analyst agent has the ability to think and reason, identify plans of attack, and provide you rich data insights into the data that surrounds you. That could be Excel file data, that could be databases worth of data, CRMs, so on and so forth, as long, of course, as you have those data connections in place. So let's take a quick look at what the analyst agent is. Simply put, it's an AI-powered assistant that specializes in data analysis. It uses advanced reasoning techniques to review your data, find patterns, and generate clear summaries and visualizations, all through natural language prompts. You can use it to examine sales figures, customer records, financial reports, or any structured data set, and it will respond with insights like trends, forecasts, anomalies, or recommendations. It even has the ability to run Python code behind the scenes for advanced calculations or charting, and it lets you peek at the code to trust its results. In short, analysts can handle the heavy lifting from cleaning messy data to performing complex calculations while you focus on understanding the results. So why does this matter for you? Better, faster data insights lead to better decisions. The analyst agent can dramatically improve your team's productivity and your customer's experience. Instead of spending hours manually crunching numbers or waiting on specialist reports, you'll get answers in minutes enabling you to respond to business needs and customer inquiries with agility. For example, you could quickly identify a dip in sales and pinpoint the cause, or instantly generate a forecast to help a client plan for the next quarter. This means you can solve problems before they escalate and seize opportunities sooner, creating a more responsive and data-driven customer experience. So let's go ahead and review the Analyst Agent Live. In our use case for today, we will analyze performance trends and data forecasting with the analyst agent. Specifically, we can imagine that we're a sales manager and we have an Excel spreadsheet with the past year's worth of sales data. And this sheet includes monthly sales figures for each quarter, and you want to understand the trend and project future sales. So let's navigate through some prompting. So in our initial prompt here, review our current sales figures for 2024 in the 2024 sales data worksheet. Based on this data, forecast the total sales for Q1 2025, which would be January through March of 2025. And now we see the analyst agent running live. We can identify the plan of attack as well as the code that it is directly referencing and creating in order to review our file, pull data, format it in particular ways that it requires, structure that data, analyze that data, and then provide our forecasts. So we'll let this run for a bit, and then we'll review the results. So now we can see as a part of the results the analyst agent has provided to us, it's forecasted for Q1 2025 total sales, $176,949 in total. So we have some initial explainability on what it believes could be the forecasted sales. Always consider these are estimates based on the past data, and maybe we want to visualize this data even further. We can have the analyst agent provide that visualization to us to further understand and visualize where we may be going with these forecasted sales. In this case, I'm going to tell it to create a simple line chart of the monthly sales, including the forecasted Q1 2025 values to visualize the trend. Now we get our line chart that provides our monthly sales forecast, and we notice that there might be a slight issue here. We can see that the 2024 actual sales data is really high, and we notice that the Q1 2025 forecast data is really low. So something could have happened in relation to the initial analyst agent reasoning, looking through our data and possibly getting confused on certain materials and not really moving forward in the way that we expected. And this is one of the reasons why it is so important to validate the overall responses from any AI experience. So let's bring it back in. Let's prompt it a little bit more to see if we can get it to realign to our particular expectations and provide better forecast trend information that we can review and understand. 
as well as ensure it is accurate. So the next prompt that I tried here, review these sales figures, they don't quite look right. Reevaluate your initial data forecast for Q1 2025 sales based on the historical 2024 data provided. And now we get an updated response. After reevaluating the 2024 data using a more accurate forecasting method, the revised forecast for Q1 2025 total sales is $2,467,005. And this is significantly higher than the initial estimate, which suggests the earlier linear model underestimated the seasonal or monthly sales patterns. So again, just to evaluate, let's visualize this to ensure that the data looks accurate. So now I'll ask it to break down the forecasted sales by month and generate a new chart with the updated forecast. Now the numbers I see here look a lot better for January, February, and March of 2025. But again, we ran into a slight snag. So we have a particular chart that was generated and it's overlaid the forecast on top of the initial line chart for 2024. So I wanna see if I can extend this just a bit further to have the full 2024 and 2025 data together in a single chart where it's not directly overlaid. So now as our final prompt, I'll ask it to regenerate the chart to have the X axis represent months across both 2024 and 2025. And I want the forecast trend line to show at the end of the chart. So now we can see we have an updated chart in our experience, and this looks much better compared to the previous charts that we had seen. So this is why it is, again, very important that you always validate any agent or co-pilot output. You, at the end of the day, are the owner of any output that an AI generates for you. So please validate, fact check, ensure the cited sources are accurate and correct to ensure that the results that you receive are accurate to your particular expectations. But that's all for me for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Of course, like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments or any particular areas of interest for Copilot that you would like us to post videos on. Always happy to share any learnings that we can. Thank you all so much. We'll see you in the next one.